It feels ever so weird saying this because I've been saying it all year, but Battery Day is next week, ladies and gentlemen. Less than a week from today, we're finally gonna get some answers. Please, Elon, do not delay this again. I can't take another delay. But we're still getting leaks and information and tad bits of information. I'm sad to say that my last whole video on breaking down with that annual shareholder meeting backdrop could be with top secret company acquisitions and silicon nanowires and that kind of thing. Elon Musk kind of squashed all of those rumors and said no they haven't purchased anyone secretly and there's no silicon nano wires being implemented into these next generation batteries but electric who has a very decent track record when it comes to tesla leaks and that kind of thing has got an anonymous tip as well as a photograph of what could be the next generation project roadrunner cells in these leaked images which yes it very much looks like a soda can i totally agree instantly thought there's no way that thing is real because it just looks like a coke bottle with the logo removed and you're telling me that that's the next generation battery i know it does share an uncanny resemblance but the truth is a lot of people would probably look at today's 2170 cells and say that's just a double a battery tesla is powered by duracell or energizer right that's the big debate but the truth is there's a lot of benefits that come from manufacturing a cell of this gargantuan size and it's been referenced a lot by the limiting factor a great channel that goes into deep dives on what could be announced at battery investor day i highly recommend you watch his videos if you want some of the more nitty gritty details that I am terrible at explaining or understanding, but essentially it's very likely this new battery cell is a tabless electrode, which should save a lot of manufacturing and of course tackle every single issue the battery has, whether it be degradation or energy density. If they're able to, with this little ridge that some people are pointing out on this leaked image, build these cells and basically load them directly into the pack as soon as they're done being manufactured, that saves them a ton of time on building the battery packs themselves, and because there's so much larger and each cell is holding way more energy per battery that means that there's less complexity to the pack as a whole and what's tesla's running motto it's always been the best part is no part the best process is no process and when elon musk talked about their current battery packs on the third row podcast he talked about how the modules in tesla batteries are kind of unnecessary originally originally they thought they were going to need to replace individual sections of their battery packs and that never really ended up happening so now there's these modules and there's this added complexity to their battery packs they're putting in their vehicles that really doesn't need to be there. In my opinion, going with these larger cells that are tabless, so that means it's a lot, lot easier to manufacture and they're probably going to use a lot of the dry electrode tech they got from Maxwell in that acquisition so that they can build these batteries at scale really, really fast and very, very cheap, load them directly into the pack with no more modules, which would save on weight and allow for more of these individual cells to fit into that pack. Essentially, it means in the future and what they'll likely be talking about on battery day is how they're going to be making batteries cheaper. Eventually, of course, this could result in hitting that $100 per kilowatt hour milestone, which in case you didn't know, if they can get a kilowatt hour to $100 at the pack level, that means electric vehicles could start reaching the same price points of gas vehicles, not just in ownership, but literally an upfront cost. And in time, they'll probably be even able to lower the price of the battery packs even further. And yes, it is theoretically possible if Tesla is able to scale battery production enough that they could reach the point where electric cars start becoming cheaper than brand new gas cars. And while that may seem impossible right now, the truth is there's a lot less moving parts and a lot less complexities to an electric vehicle compared to a gas car, which has far more moving parts and far more parts as a whole, which of course means it's really just a matter of time to when we can start making the parts of the electric car cheaper, then you could actually start making electric cars cheaper than gas, which is amazing and would kind of be the final nail in the coffin for the internal combustion engine. Elon has been hyping up Battery Day on Twitter a lot. He's talked about how they want to unveil all kinds of stuff at this event, so I assume we're going to be seeing a lot of stuff, not just new battery chemistry. I'm hoping the first Tesla to get these next generation Roadrunner cells would be the Model S Plaid edition, and he's kind of referenced that he would be wearing a Plaid outfit sometime soon, so that has a lot of people believing that these new cells are going to go into the Plaid Model S first, and we'll see great range, we'll see very little degradation, and when they're first starting out on the Roadrunner assembly lines, they're probably going to be a little bit pricier originally. So don't expect Battery Day to result in instant price drops across the entire lineup because initially these new cells are only going to go into the low volume vehicles like the Model S and X and Roadster first, but they likely want to scale production of these new cells and bring them to more vehicles, probably at Giga Texas. And I imagine by the time the Cybertruck is ready for mass production, they will also have a huge Roadrunner assembly line with these giant soda can looking batteries 
batteries being ready to pump out out of Giga Texas at an astounding rate and that's how they're able to make battery packs with such great efficiency such low degradation at such a reasonable price point but that facility on Cato Road that they've been working on that's the pilot line they're gonna experiment with it there first and only when they start producing these batteries at extreme scale is when you're gonna start seeing Tesla save so much money and start dropping prices on vehicles because the battery packs will be so much cheaper to build so there's kind of your sneak peek there's kind of some of the early access stuff to know about at Tesla battery day I'm very much excited and of course we'll be covering all the things we hear about I'll try to summarize the details best I can but of course don't forget it's also an annual shareholder meeting so regardless we should be getting tons of news about the company as a whole what are you most excited about on battery day what are you most looking forward to hearing about feel free to let me know thank you all for watching hope you have an excellent rest of your day take care